Hello guys and good day. This is our lecture for our module four, our first lecture for our module four, which is the nomenclature of hydrocarbons since our module three is all about hydrocarbons. Now this natin is just a nomenclature of hydrocarbons. And for the second lecture of our module, we will have the discussion or experiments natin of what are the principles involved kung ano ba nangyari doon sa mga experiments natin such the flammability of the hydrocarbons and etc. So let's start with the first one natin sa ating first hydrocarbon which is the alkanes. Okay, alkanes are the carb hydrocarbons in which all the carbon-carbon bonds are all single bonds. It is a high sp3 hybridization if you discussed it in your lecture and Kapag naman double-double bond, guys, it is an alkenes. And kapag triple bond, at least one triple bond, that is alkynes. So, ganun. And then the common formula for our alkenes is just a CN2, N plus 2. Now, let's suppose that the N is 1. So, therefore, our, our formula for alkenes will be CH4. Since uh, meron siya formula. Now, consider si hexane where N is 6. So, 6 times 2. That is 12 plus 2 and 14. So that is alkanes. Pero meron din tayong cycloalkanes na kung saan yung, yung, cyclic, yung mga alkanes natin ay nag-cyclicize in order to form this and it has a formula of CN, C subscript N, H2N. So ano ba mga sources of alkanes natin? Nanggaling ang, natin, ang alkanes natin most dun sa may crude oils natin, sa may petroleum, na nanggaling dun sa may fossil fuels natin. Ngayon ang mangyari dito guys is ito, primary source of alkanes, is a complex mixture of most alkanes. Ngayon ang mangyayari dito guys is magkaaroon tayo ng refinery gases sa ating mga oil natin. Doon sa may petroleum refinery industry, kung familiar kayo sa may, sa may bataan yata yun, sa may petrol or batang gas, I think. Now, ang mangyayari doon guys is magkaaroon ng, from your module tourist, magkaaroon ng distillation process for the refinery of oil. Kasi isi-separate sila based on their volatility and their boiling points due to its temperature. It will be condensed and makakolekta sa lado. And ito, more than 500 different compounds are contained in petroleum distillates boiling below 200 degrees Celsius. And then kapag similar yung boiling points na guys, magkaaroon tayo dito ng fractional distillation. Okay, if you want to know more to the refiner, petroleum refinery process, you can watch it on YouTube. And ilalagay ko siya sa may enrichment task ko, kung gusto nyo lang naman. And then ayon, mixture of alkanes can be used as fuels. Ito, familiar kayo dyan kung kayo yung mga naging motor, yung mga premium gasoline natin, mga diesel. Ginagamit sila as fuels. Solvents such as the ligroin and lubricants, yun yung mga grasa natin, which is a long chain of hydrocarbons. So ayon, gasoline. First of all, gasoline. Okay, supplied by the petroleum. Hydrocarbons, converting hydrocarbons from other fraction of petroleum into gasoline by catalytic radical. Cracking. So, ang mangyari dito, we have a mixture of alkanes and you have a catalyst. Siyempre, sikreto yan kung ano man yan. Heated at 500 degrees Celsius and magkaaroon tayo ng mga highly branched hydrocarbons which is carbon 5 to C10. And ang typical kuha natin guys is itong 224-trimethylpentane or isooctane natin. Ito kasing isooctane natin guys is a component of gasoline that burns smoothly. Wow! Without knocking. Sa may internal combustion ng engines natin, dun sa mga piston natin. At ito, okay guys, kapag ginagamit ito, siya yung standards sa octane rating natin. Okay, let's suppose here, yung octane rating natin is the number contain the percentage of isooctane contained in a gasoline. Now, suppose that the isooctane is 100% at zero octane natin. So, ang octane rating natin guys is 100%. And let's suppose gasoline mixture natin guys is 87% isooctane and 13% heptane. So meron siyang 87% 87 octane rated gasoline siya. Sir, bakit ganun? Bakit hindi naging puro? Kasi nga guys, para dumami yung ating gasolina. Para hindi siya puro ice octane. Para mas marami ang production natin. And yung iba is mga gasolina ng mga other mixture of hydrocarbons para mas marami gasolina natin. So mga ganun sa mga nagmumotor dyan at sa mga nagdadrive. Ah, familiar naman kayo sa mga presyo ng ating. And these are the, the ako natin, yung mga distillation. Ito yung mga distillates na nakuha natin sa crude oil natin kapag na-process siya sa refinery process natin. Okay, consider this. The boiling point range here, we have the boiling point range and kung ano ba yung mga uses nila and the number of atoms per molecule. Now, below 20 degrees Celsius, that is a, a methane, methane or C1 to C4. Sila yung mga natural gas, battle gas and petrochemicals. Now, the C1 carbon type to carbon 6 na nag-boil, that is petroleum ether and solvents, C6 to 
ah, carbon 6 to carbon 7, ligro yung solvents. C5 to C10, mga gasoline natin, guys. Mga gasoline. And C12 to C18, sila yung mga kerosene and jet fuel natin. Now, you could notice, guys, that the, as the higher number carbon increases, tumataas yung boiling point natin. Kasi nga, di ba, we are, kung natin, kung napag, natatanda ninyo, napag-aralan natin ito sa may intermolecular forces natin. Intermolecular forces. Now, for the other, ito na yung other one. For the non-volatile solids, ginagamit sila sa may mga paraffin wax, asphalt, and tar. Okay. Kasi nga, sila yung mga non-volatile. Hindi na sila ihit. Sila yung mga parang latak natin, guys, sa ating mga crude sa crude oil natin from our fossil fuels. Now, ah, okay. Now, I discuss the alkanes here. Punta naman tayo dun sa may ah, ship ng alkanes natin. So, what is an alkanes? It is a sp3 hybridized, hybridized with a tetrahedral geometry. When I say tetrahedral geometry, ito kung mapimiliar kayo sa may BSEP R theory or valence shell electron pair repulsion theory kung bakit tetrahedral yung draw geometry niya. And even straight chain alkanes are not straight. They have a zigzag geometry which is considered natin ito. Okay. They have a zigzag geometry na kapag niligilin na nyo, yung 3D structure na is magkakaroon din. Okay. Okay, there are two type, uh, there are three types okay, of alkenes. Another one here, the straight chain alkene and the branch alkene. Okay, the branch alkene, kasi meron siyang branching dito. Unlike dito, or straight lang dito. Tama ko natin. And we all know that the intermolecular force nito, ito, itong isobutane, has a lower boiling point than the butane natin. And dito, sa neopentane, has a or boiling point to be contained. So mga ganun-ganun bagay. I-consider din natin yung mga intermolecular forces. And those of all kwan natin, meron silang constitutional isomers. Kung na-discuss ito sa may lecture nito, constitutional isomer, guys, is refers to the same number of carbon compounds, same molecular formula, but different structure. Consider this between here, it has 4 carbons and ilan to? 10 hydrogen. Same din dito sa may isobutane natin. Okay? 4 carbons and that is 10, 10 hydrogen. At pero i-device structure nila. So therefore, they are constitutional isomers. Constitutional isomers, different molecular, same molecular formula, but different in structure. So ayan, no? ayun pala, nandugo na mong pala. Okay, next naman natin. Is the other here, his, here, are, his, here are the possible, number of possible constitutional isomers for our alkenes. For the C4H10, there are two. And so and so forth for the C40 and H82, there are oh, dami. Okay. 62 billion per 181 million. 62 trillion per 181 billion, 801 million, 100,341 number. Possible constitutional isomers. Wow, dami. Kung napakasipag nyo. Sige, pwede, pwede ninyong gawin yan. Kung napakasipag nyo lang naman, sino ang makagawa. Okay. Now, here are the physical properties of some our alkenes. Here, as you can see here, guys, ito mapapansin ninyo that there are difference of their melting point and their boiling point. Although the hexane isomers, consider this, the hexane isomers contains five, natin, five different isomers here. And these are the molecular formula of it. These are the constitutional isomers here. Pero kung mapapansin nyo guys, they are differing in the boiling point. So bakit kaya ganun? Kasi nga, i-account natin yung intermolecular force natin or dispersion, dispersion forces, di ba? Straight chain, mas malaking boiling point. And then kapag nagkaroon ng branch, liliit, another branching here, However, the spherical shape ay mas malaki siya, point, more point of attachment, mas malaki, more branch, mas uh, maliit na, and then more branch ulit, mas papaliit. So, mga ganun-ganun bagay. Okay, punta naman tayo sa may ayupak na ito. So, ano ba ito, sir? Ba't ano ito mga chain na ito? Paano natin sila papangalanan? Ito, hexane isomer yan, sir. Pero ano-ano po pangalan ito? Familiar lang ako sa DD to, sir. Six carbon, hexane yan. Paano ba natin yan ikaklasified? Paano natin sila papangalanan? Now, we have this develop, ang kapag-develop nito guys ng nomenclature natin, okay? Okay, sa summarize ko lang guys ang ating discussion. Our naming na itatakin natin for today is yung alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and uh, benzene, alcohols, the alcohols, and alkyl halides. So, there are seven ang matatakin natin dito, which were supposed na dapat, uh, kung natin, dapat magpapoly functional group natin. Pero syempre, magsimula na muna tayo sa may madali. So bear with me guys and I hope na magtiyagan ninyo ang ating lecture nito. Okay. Each different compound shall have a unique name. Yun yung principle ng IUPAC natin. Yung mga International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry natin. Okay. Consider this natin. When the name of alkenes here, kung mapapansin ninyo, these are the Greek names of most alkenes stem from the Greek and Latin. And yung alkenes natin guys has a suffix of A. Okay. Consider this. Kapag 1, met, 2, 3, 4. Pero i-explain ko na sa ating PowerPoint slide. 
Here are, I am introducing the our homologous series. Methane, 1 carbon, ethane, 2 carbon, propane, 3 carbon, butane, 4 carbon, pentane, 5 carbon, hexane, 6 carbon, and so on and so forth. Here, these are our homologous series. Kapag sila ay na straight chain. Sir, what if kapag sila po ay naging kwa natin? Kapag sila naging substituents. Ano ba ang substituents natin? Ang substituents natin, guys, is kapag sila ay nagkaroon ng branching doon sa may straight chain natin. Okay, panin na natin yun. Okay, ano ba yung branching na yan? Sir, paano pag sila ay naging substituents? Kasi puro parent chain yung, yung homologous series na nandito eh. Okay, kapag sila ay naging kwa natin, kapag sila ay naging uh, kwa natin, naging substituents, okay, kapag syempre, maririmove yung isang hydrogen atom sila. Okay, just change the in to il para sila ay maging, kapag sila ay naging substituents. 1 carbon, methyl, 2 carbon, ethyl, 3 carbon, propyl, okay, Dito sa ating 4 carbon, butyl, pentane, pentyl, hensane, hexyl, heptyl, octyl, nonyl, and decyl. And so on and so forth kung ano-ano man yung pangalan nila. Okay, magpangalan na tayo ng amber compounds natin. There are four rules na sinusunod ko dito. First and foremost, the, per the parent chain. Okay, sa alkins natin, ang parent chain doon is the longest chain. Sa other polyfunctional group compounds, iba na yung andon. Okay, kanina na natin. First is the parent chain. Second, the number of substituents. Lowest sum rule and alphabetically arranged dapat yung arrangement ng mga substituents natin kapag pinangalan natin sila as their substituents. Okay, punta tayo sa longest chain. Unang-unang first rule na hanapin ninyo is find the longest chain. Okay, kakapain niyan. Pwede kang bumilang na hanggang dito. Okay, there are two possible here. This is structure here. Pwede kang bumilang na pag ganito. Pwede kang bumilang na pag ganito. Pwede kang bumilang na pabaliktad din naman. Pero ang titignan ninyo is the longest chain here. Which is mas mahaba dito. Siyempre, ito. Hanggang carbon number 7 siya kung mag-start ka dito as compared to the next start dito. So therefore, this is our kwa natin. Ito yung ating parent chain natin which is a 7 carbon kasi mas mahaba siya. Now as you would notice here guys, at the third carbon, meron tayong substituents na 1 carbon here. Eh ano ba yun? Methyl. Okay. So 3 dash methyl. Ano yung pangalan ng 7 carbon natin? Heptane. So 3 methyl heptane. Not 2 ethyl hexane. So mga ganun. Okay, and next naman natin, sir. Paano naman po, sir? Pwede naman po siyang kwa na, di ba? Pwede natin kanina. There are another possible counting doon. Pwede dito, sa pwede tayong pa-clockwise or counterclockwise. Sir, bakit yung pa-counterclockwise po ang consider natin? Kasi nga, i-obin ninyo yung second rule ko anina is the lowest sum rule. The lowest sum rule na kung saan mas pipiliin ninyo yung ating lower carbon number as compared to the higher carbon number. Sir, bakit po ganun? Sino po ba nag-set ng rules na yan? Guys, ang nag-set ng rules na yan is yung IUPA, International of Pure and Applied Chemistry. So wala tayong magagawa dyan kahit anong konto nyo dyan. Kaya doon tayo sa may standards natin. So we are following a standard naming for our carbon compounds. So mga ganun, okay, third carbon kaya siya 3 methyl heptane, not 5 methyl heptane. Okay, next naman natin is di ko natin. Sir, what if, paano naman po? There are two substituents there. How can you name that? Okay, there are three possible. Okay, unang-una, like, okay, we have this structure. May, pa, may sagot na kasi eh, kaya nababother ako. Pero okay. Kunin na natin is, meron tayong parent chain, hanggang dito daw siya. Not here, kasi nga ba 6, 7, 8. Although, ganun lang din. Parehas lang din naman sila, 6, 7, 8. Parehas lang naman na ethyl yung kanilang substituents doon. So, pwede dito, pwede rin dito. Okay. Now, paano kaya natin in-name ito? Is it here or here? Okay. Ang pangalan daw niya ay 6-ethyl-2-methyloctane. Okay. Sir, but 6-ethyl-2-octane. Pwede, pwede po bang pan tayo? Uh, two, uh, paunahin natin yung 2-methyl. Ito. Yung two, sir, bakit ito? Sige, pwede na ito. Sir, bakit hindi 3-ethyl-7-methyloctane? Guys, ano yung sinabi sa third rule natin? Lowest sum rule. Bakit kaya ganun? 3 plus 7, that is 10. Tama? Sa mata 6 plus 2 is 8 lamang. So, the way sample tayo. Kaya 6 ethyl. Sir, ano pong kakanin natin? Is it 2 methyl or 6 methyl? Sir, ba't nauna yung ethyl, hindi yung methyl? Kasi nga, we are following the fourth rule. Tama ba? Hindi ko na lang arrange mito. Eh. That is the alphabetically arranged. And we all know, guys, sumunyar so naman kayo na yung E natin, yung E natin ay mauna isa doon sa BM natin. Okay, low sum rule, 6 ethyl dash 2 methyl, those are the substituents and octane natin. 
Okay, next natin. Ayan. Okay, paano naman, sir? Nakakakang ka dito. Ayun. Sige, kunin ko na nga. Paint. Paint. Kasi kunin. Okay, sir. Paano po ito naging metal octane dito? Okay, first and foremost, diba? hanapin ninyo yung parent chain natin. Yung parent chain. Okay, magbilang tayo dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6. Isa pa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, hindi ulit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. O long skin. So, number 8. Sir, pabaliktad o pa... One. Ano ba? From right to left or left to right? Okay, magbilang tayo ulit. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ang 4 dito. Paano naman kapag ka right to left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5. Ano ulit yung rule natin, guys? ba? Lowest sum rule. Okay. So, ayan. 4 yung pipili natin. But what are the substituents that need here sa may carbon compounds natin? Ano-ano ba yung mga nandiyan, guys? Okay, di ba? Second carbon compound here is the ano? ethyl. Okay. And then dito is methyl. So therefore, hindi naman sila 1. 4 ethyl, di ba? Alphabetical range does. 4 methyl octane. Sir, bakit octane? Kasi 8 carbon compounds. Hindi siya 5 ethyl, 5 methyl octane. Kasi nga, we are following the natin. Ah, the lowest sum rule. Okay, let's get back to our presentation. <gasps> 28 of 187. Sige guys, bear with me. Kayang-kaya natin itong tapusin. Okay. Okay, ayan na natin. Okay, ayan na natin. Okay, sir. What if naman another cases? Diba yung cases natin? It's the lowest sum rule. Okay, sir. Paano naman po kapag yung pan natin, mga substituents natin ay magkaapareho ng substituents? How can we name that? Okay, gagan na lang gagawin niyo. You use the prefixes of di, tri, tetra, and so. Di, tri, tetra, and so. Now consider this compound here. 1 2 4. Okay? Hexane yung parent chain niya kasi 6 carbon compounds. So ayun yung pangalan niyo. And then 2 4 dimethyl. Sir, bakit dimethyl kasi nga there are two. The tapos dito naman, ayan 2 4, the location of substituents 2 4 dimethyl hexane. And then dito naman sa may isa, 2 4 6. So I 2, 4, 5 pala, I shall say. 2, 4, 5, trimethyl heptane. Okay? Trimethyl. Sir, bakit hindi at dito 3, 5 sa may una? Kasi nga, diba, we are following the lowest sum rule. 2 plus 4, 6, okay, plus 5 is 8. Dito naman, 2, uh, 2 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 11. Dito naman, 6 plus 4 plus 3 is 13. So, lowest, applicable pa rin yung lowest sum rule. Pagsasama-samahin sila. And then, another here. Ayan. Sir, Paano naman po kapag another substituents are present here? Okay, tignan natin ito. Okay, suppose let's, na napangalan natin i-compound, na identify na natin lowest chain niya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pero sir, dito, kapag nagbilang pa ng carbon dito, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, sir, ano pong pipiliin natin dito? Mas pipiliin ninyo guys, yung mas maraming substituents. But dito, ito kasi, ayan o, oh, Mas komplikado yan kapag pinangalan ninyo. Although, kaya naman siyang pangalanan na naon natin na ano pangalan to, isobutyl, pero mas pipiliin ninyo mas maraming substituents. Kapag compare ninyo ito, o oh, oh, ito, there are four substituents and here, there are only three substituents. So, mas pipiliin ninyo yung mas maraming substituents. Okay? Okay, punta na tayo dito. Okay, ano ba pangalan to mga to? Siyempre, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 5, trimethyl. Tapos itong nandito, di ba? 3 carbon, that is propyl. Okay, sir. Di ba ito? T. T po siya, sir. Kasi ito, P. Di ba, sir, sa alphabetically arrange, eh, mauna yung T. Isa sa T. Speech. Okay. Ang kaano ninyo kasi dito, guys, is titignan ninyo, hindi nagmamatter ito. Itong tri. Titignan ninyo yung substituents. Okay? Ano ba mauna sa may, ano ba? M o P. Di ba? Sa may alphabet English alphabet, sir. M yun na una. So, i-discard nyo yung kanal. Ayan. So, another one here, 2, 3, 5, 3, methyl hexane. Okay. Kung ano ito rin yan. Lowest sum rule lang din, guys. Example 1. Yes! Yung example na rin sa mga. Okay. Kunin na natin. Example 1 natin. Okay. Oo. Paano kaya natin papangalanan to? Okay. Guys, bear with me. Ha? Medyo matagal itong discussion na to. Yung in-skip naman kung alam nyo naman na. Okay, let first and foremost find the longest key. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 1. Okay, or pwede rin naman, kasi dito pang 4 na siya, hindi is only 5, longest key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, dito 7 and 1. 
Uh, ano kaya ang pa natin? Is it 1, 2, 3, 3 and 4? Or 1, 2, 3, 3 and 4? Ay, either lang. So, ang pangalan nito ay, ito, 3, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4
ko. Tignan nga natin kung tumama tayo. Tignan natin. Oh, wait lang. Tan, tan, tan. Okay, tumama po tayo guys. So, pampalakpa na po tayo. Kasi nga yan, no? Tumama ba tayo? Yeah. 5 3 2 dash 4 ice of coffee no. So ganun. 'Di ba? Nauna yung 3 methyl natin kasi nga yung mga reverse the butyl and the iso na propyl. We ignore the iso and the butyl. Okay. Example number 2. Oh, mas komplikado. Paano kaya pangalanan nito? 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5. Okay. Ah, uh, paanin ko na pwedeng ba mag mental ko na oh dito guys. This is a 1 2 3 4 Five. This one is isopentyl four or five six four five. And then one two three four five. One two three four five. One two three four five. Okay. This one here is five isopentyl five sec it six sec butyl. Ano ba yun? One two three four five. Five sec butyl. And then this one here is five isopentyl five sec sec butyl dash five Neopentyl, no name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dekin pala. Okay. Tignan natin ito. Tignan natin. Ay, no, wala. Ang sagot daw ay 5 sec butyl dash 6 neopentyl dekin. Nagkamali ako dun sa may number. Pag ganun siya. Pag ganun. So, paano kaya ang explanation dun, guys? Kasi nga guys, this one here is a secondary hydrogen. Yun ang dito as compared here na primary lang. So, from right to left tayo. Ito yung tinutukoy ko. Mas priority guys, yung higher degree of hydrogen atom as compared to the lower degree. So, my mistake guys, I'm so sorry. No, may pagkaamali na yun. Na supposedly dapat yun ay 5 sec butyl dash 6 neopentyl decking. So, ganun. Kasi pinaprioritize pala, nakalimutan ko yung higher degree of hydrogen atom. And how do we classify that? By looking at the number of carbon compounds bonded to that carbon. Yun. So may cluture of alkyl halides. Okay, this is just one. Ang kwan lang naman dito, guys, is di ba meron tayong methyl ethyl? Yung mga alkyl halides natin, guys, is nagiging substituent lang din naman sila. And suppose that we have F, imbis na fluorine, magiging fluoro. Papagitan ng INE2O as the same again substituents. And then the CL will be chloro, Br, bromo, and 6S iodo. So kay Kala, Br, I, E, at Us, o Astatono. Wala namang Astatono. Hanggang iodine lang tayo. Okay, simple rule lang din. Lower substitute. Ako natin, okay, alphabetically arranged and lowest sum rule din ang susundin natin. Alphabetically arranged and lowest sum rule. Pwede tayo 1, 2, 3, 4, kasi madababal yung uh, lowest sample. So, that is, okay, 2-bromo, 1-chloro, pentin. Excuse me. Next naman natin dito is, eto naman, ano mo una ulit? Lowest sample rule ulit ang susundin natin. Kasi kapag dito, 1, 2, 3, 3, tas 4, tas 6. So, ilan yun? Di ba? Mas malaki. Alay dito, 1, tas 3, tas 4, that's only 8. So, ganun lang din. We ignore the di. We, I told natin, natin natin yung chloro. So, 1,4 dichloro dash 3 methyl exane. Nomenclature of alcohols. Okay. Guys, kapag yung alcohols natin naman, okay, naiintindihan niyo naman sa natin. Substitute. Okay, paano naman kapag alcohols, guys? Now, kapag alcohols, siya yung magiging parent chain. May ignore natin yung natin yung ating alkenes natin kasi mas pero mas priority yung ating alcohols. Now, consider this here. 1 2 3 4 5 6. That is a hindi na siya hexane. So, ba't hindi exchange? Kasi meron tayong OH na present. Now, you change the A and E into OL. Mag-iisip ko siya ay OL. So, hexane. Siya maging hexanol. And then, identify the substituents here, which is 4-methyl. So, 4-methyl, 4-methyl, hexanol. Hexanol. Or, pwede rin siyang 1-hexanol. Pwede rin hexanol. Kahit na lawa lang 1. Basta ang importante is maloitin nyo yung carbon number kung saan na-allocate yung ating OH group. So, ganun. Okay, tignan natin dito. This one here is 2-propanol. But 2-propanol kasi the OH group are on the 2. And then, ang perichin natin is OH. Kasi, di ba, alkane? 
kasi may OH. So, hindi na siya propane. Propanol na siya. Nasaan yung OH group natin? Nasa second carbon. So, 2 propanol. 2 propanol. Dito naman sa may isa natin, dito, okay, dito lang din guys, tatandaan ninyo ha, sa may, ka, sa may ko natin, la, is lagi ninyo uunahin yung OH group natin. Mas priority siya. Sa may, dito may mga violate na lowest sum rule dito. Titignan ninyo guys, kahit na mas, okay mamaya, sana may case na ganun. Basta kung ano yung pinakamalapit na carbon na OH, yun yung titignan ninyo. Kahit mabiolate yung lowest sum rule natin. Okay? This one here is Paul, ay Paul, 4 methyl hep, uh, pentanol. Tama ba? Ayun, pentanol. Okay. Kahit na, na walang 1 yun guys, kasi nasa carbon number 1 siya. Pero sige, lagyan nyo pa rin. 4 methyl dash 1 pentanol. Kasi itong 1 na to is just a indicator where the OH group was bonded. What number carbon are bonded? So dito naman here, kapag ganun lang din guys, is kapag kapag kwan tayo, kapag there are 3 more than more than 2, kapag siya itatlo naman, that is 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, butane triol. Sir, but hindi 1, 2, 3, triol butane. but hindi ganun? but hindi tayo? Kasi nga, diba, ito na yung parent chain natin. Yun yung magiging suffix natin sa ating alcohol. Okay, another example here, okay, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, 1, 2, paano ba bilang natin dito? Aalamin ninyo guys kung nasan yung pinakamalapit na OH. And then doon napapasok yung ating long spin. So 1, 2, hindi tayo pwedeng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hindi. Hanapin ninyo yung pinakamalapit na OH. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so pangalan to is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 1, 2, 3, 3, propyl dash 2, heptanol. Tignan natin. Inaaban o ba? Mga mali ako. Tada! Okay, tumama. So, 3 propyl dash 2 heptanol. So, ganun. Okay. Next. 66 slides na. Kaya, kaya pa ba? Okay. Now, punta naman tayo, guys. We are done with the straight chain alkene with branch alkene and alpap. Mga halogenetic substituents natin and we're done with alcohols. Now, paano naman, sir, kapag naging cyclic? Ang one lang dun, guys, is just dadagdagan nyo lang ng prefix na cyclo. Let's say, for example, na there are three member dun here. So, ano ba yung three member sa homolog series natin kapag shape natin? That is, di ba, propane. Now, dagdagan mo lang na kapag nag-cyclic siya, dagdagan mo cyclo na prefix. So, that is cyclopropane. Kapag 5 mermaid ring, pentane yan. Since cyclic siya, nalagyan mo ng prefix na cyclo. So, cyclopentane. Okay, kapag naman siya yung naging substituents, okay guys, usually, ang mga on natin guys, mga parent chain natin is a... Usually, itong mga tayo mga maging parent chain natin. Okay, may cases tayo mamaya. Discuss ko later. Sila yung parent chain natin. Okay, ganito yan. So, eto one uh, isopropyl cyclopropane kasi may substituents and then here methyl cyclobutane methyl cyclobutane but methyl cyclopropane guys this is a methyl cyclobutane okay rare type ko na lang guys wait lang medyo mabagal kasi this is supposedly methyl cyclo cyclobutane guys ah kasi four member ring po ang naaon dito four member ring and then next natin this one here ano ito Third butyl cyclopentane. Third butyl kasi ito. And then cyclopentane yung nakalagay din. Okay, example number one here. Ganun lang din guys. Lowest sum rule, alphabetical arrange. But our cyclic alkanes is the parent chain. So okay. 1 ethyl dash 3 methyl cyclopentane. So but hindi 1, 2, 3 doon. Okay. Diba? Sinabi ko anina na mas priority guys yung mas yung ano natin, yung longer chain of carbon or kapag mas matas yung degree of hydrogen niya. Now, since this one has a higher number of carbon, kaya ito yung inuna natin kisa dito. Okay? Next, example number two. Okay naman, kapag nandi dito naman, guys, hindi ma-count yung priority natin. Yung kwa natin dito. Dito, once na may naging present na other kwa natin, bromo, okay, sige, Mas para mas mag nyo. I'm gonna paste this one here to the paint. Okay, sir. Bak hindi po inuna ito na supposedly this one is higher priority than here. Na magkaaroon kasi tayo ng variations dito. Dito mag o yung lowest sum rule. Okay? Diba dito sa, sa example natin is we have 1, 2, and 4. Ilan yung sum yan? 7. Now, tara mag-start mag-bilang dito. 1, 2, 3, and 
4. Okay. There are, ilan ulit siya? 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 4, plus 4, sila ay 8. Now, paano naman kapag dito tayo nagsimula? Diba? Ito yung 1, ito yung 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5, ilan yon? 5 plus 2 plus 1. 8 ulit siya. Now, kapag dito naman tayo nagsimula, so may 8 natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 plus 4 plus 1, that is 11. So, kakapakapain nyo ninyo yan once na may present na different substituents. Kakapainin ninyo kung ano yung lowest sum rule natin. Unlike sa may previous example natin, guys, is ang consider naman dito is yung kung ano yung higher degree of carbon or kung ano yung mas priority na dapat unahin. So, ganun. There are many cases na may encounter ninyo, pero once na na-master ninyo ang naming guys, ma-automatize na siya sa inyong utang. Now, dito naman, di ba, Another example, cases, di ba? Kinonsider natin yung lowest sum rule. Pero dito, mabibreak dito. The automatic carbon, uh, the automatic carbon number one here is the one that containing the OH group. Kasi nga, yung alcohol na natin ang nag-dominate sa per as their parent chain of this compound. Okay. Punta na tayo dito. Okay. Ang mag-apply natin guys is the lowest sum rule and parent chain. Hindi ito yung carbon number one at hindi rin ito yung pwede maging carbon number one. Kahit mas maliit pa yung sum nila. Dapat yung OH nila. So, sagutin na natin that is ito na uh, 4-ethyl-3-methyl-cyclohexanol kasi walang wala na siyang 1% na dumi ng carbon. Ayan. Not 1, 2, 3 kasi nga kahit ma- Obey niya. Ayan, tingnan niyo, oh. Kahit ito, oh. 1 plus 2 plus 4, di ba? That is only ilan lang yan. That is only 7. As compared to this, not 4 plus 3 plus 1 na 8. So, mas lowest sa rule to, sir. Pero bakit ito? Kasi nga, guys, nag-domain na dito yung hydroxy ethanol natin. Ayan, no. Oh. Okay, sa mga cycloalkanes naman natin, guys. Kapag... <coughs> okay. Another clock, guys, sa mga cycloalkanes natin. Paano naman, sir, po, kapag naman yung mas marahaba po yung kanya, eto, mas mahaba yung yung straight chain kaysa dun sa may ko natin, sir. Dun sa may sa may cyclic natin. Ano pong mas priority? Diba sinabi niyo po, Anina, na laging priority po yung natin, yung ating cyclic. E ba't, sir, dito mas priority yung, uh, yung straight chain? Guys, kasi nga, mas mahaba na straight chain natin kaysa sa may cyclic natin. This is only a fourth member ring. By this, pero itong ka natin, itong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are 5 straight chain. So, hindi siya pwede maging pentyl cyclobutane. Kasi mas maraming compound ito. So, magiging kwan lang siya, papalitan nyo lang siya ng A to L. So, 1 cyclobutyl pentane. And applicable din siya sa lahat ng ganito. Eh sir, tignan nyo naman po ito. Oh. Higher number of carbon po siya. Dito. Tapos, dito tatlo lang po. But ito pa rin yung naging parent chain natin, sir. Kasi nga, guys, meron dala tayong uh, natin. More than one ring system. So siya, naging more than one. So ano ba yung consider ninyo dito? Kapag dalawa yung ring na present, guys, ang kahit mas ma-higher pa yung number of ring dito, as, kahit mas marakas, kahit higher member ring pa yon, basta naging dalawa siya. Siya ay subsequence na. So marami kayong aces na ma-encounter, guys. Hindi lang kayo basta-basta maging ring. You should know the case-to-case -case basis of how to name Ayupak Lee, the Ayupak name of this compound by using the case-to-case -case basis. And alkanes, the alkynes din. Uh, okay, I will make this fast piecing. Ganito lang yon. Ganito lang din sila. Okay, this one here is 1-butene kasi nga, ayun no. Papalitan nyo lang naman siya, di ba? 4-carbon butane. Butane here. Yan. Oh, okay. Guys, I think kun na muna, generis na muna. This is will be discussed on our part 2 of our lecture and masyado na mahaba yung discussion ko. Okay, so yun part to guys and I hope you learned something of how to name the alkanes, cycloalkanes and the halogenic halogenic substituents and the alcohols, guys. So we we'll see you in part of our lecture, guys, and goodbye.